Hi, I'm John Drummond, Application Engineer with Chimp Power Systems America. Today I'd like to share with you the Flex Gateway Communication Card. This card enables advanced two-way communication with up to 70 each CPS 5060 string inverters on a single RS-45 network. The card also enables remote inverter firmware upgrade support by CPS service personnel. It allows our service team the ability to remotely investigate faults, perform diagnostic, troubleshooting, essentially reducing or completely eliminating truck rolls. Lastly, it enables broadcast commands to speed up control loops for advanced applications like power quality management or zero export requirements. There are three ports on the Flex Gateway card. An RJ45 port that provides direct customer data from the Flex Gateway via a programmable IP address, enabling an Ethernet XML SunSpec data exchange connection for customers who want to manage their data directly. Also, a five pin RS45 connection for the Daisy Chain network to up to 70 CPS 5060 inverters. And lastly, a three pin pass through port that allows Modbus or RS45 for communication to a third party data logger. The Flex Gateway card is designed to be installed in two locations. It may either be installed in the wire box of the 5060 inverter by piggybacking on to the standard comms card, or it may be installed in a third-party DAS enclosure by using the small DIN rail mounted flex gateway enclosure supplied with the accessory kit. To install the flex gateway card in the 5060 wire box, simply remove the three screws that attach the standard communication card in the wire box and replace the screws with the half-inch standoffs supplied in the accessory kit of the flex gateway card. Next, carefully align the six pin header in the upper left hand corner of the card and install gently. Then install the small screws into the standoff, securing the Flex Gateway card in place. To complete the installation of the Flex Gateway card in the 5060 wire box, be sure the screws are secure, then simply attach the Ethernet connection to the RJ45 connector the RS-45 network, daisy chain network, to the RS-45 connector. There's also the pass-through. In this installation, we're not using that. Lastly, use the link kit and Wi-Fi dongle to attach. Then with the CPS app, CPS Connect, launch the application, choose Flex Gateway, then go to Wi-Fi settings to configure your Wi-Fi settings for communication with the card. The Flex Gateway card may also be installed in a DAS enclosure. Supplied with the accessory kit is a small metallic enclosure that the card can be mounted in. The enclosure includes a DIN rail mount clip to easily install in the DAS enclosure. The benefit of the installing the Flex Gateway card in the DAS enclosure, if available, is that this location eliminates the need to extend or pull the ethernet cable out to the first 5060 inverter in the network should that distance be substantial. To improve supply chain efficiency, CPS is working with third-party monitoring providers to include pre-populated DAS enclosures with CPS Flex Gateway cards. Again, I'm John Drummond, Applications Engineer with Chen Power Systems America. The installation of the Flex Gateway card in a 5060 wire box where it gets installed, where it can be installed, how it's used, how it's connected. For further information or questions, feel free to contact me at john.drummond,